Hi, my dear learners of class ninth. Let us look at one of one of the just uh, poems of your syllabus, that is wind. Wind, as you all of know, that is that gentle breeze, that gentle air that we experience. In this very particular poem, the poet has personified wind as a human being. as a destroyer something that is very strong and something that dist that causes a lot of destruction or damage all because it is very powerful but one thing is clear that it only causes damage to those that are weak that are not strong enough so the poet of the poem simply and simply urges us or encourages us to be strong to face all the challenges wind just symbolizes a kind of a challenge symbolizes kind of complications and problems that are that uh, this human life uh, actually has so we as individual should be strong enough should be powerful enough to face the challenges of the life if we are strong we can easily face the challenges and and uh, emerge victorious now let us look at the text and understand the poem in the shortest possible manner now let's look the text of the poem but before starting i would like to make a personal request to all of you my dear young little chams to please just watch this video with the text of this poem opened at your side please open the text and then enjoy this video of mine you will have a better understanding of this poem let's see the text of the poem wind comes softly don't break the shutters of the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf he says here is addressing here is speaking to the wind straight way if the poet in the poem speaks his words or addresses his words straight way to something that is abstract to something that is just absent or to something that is dead or to something that is even living that is called apostrophe a p o s t r o p h e apostrophe so the first line of the poem here the in the first line of the poem there is apostrophe and for your kind information from the first line to the last line the poem has personification why because the poet has personified the wind as a powerful lethal just a being that that uh, just uh, causes a lot of damage to those that are not strong enough so he says when come softly here he is asking the wind to blow to blow in to blow in a normal manner not to blow with all its might why because see what does it cause don't break the shutters of the windows it means the window breaks the shutters don't scatter the papers don't throw the papers at sixes and sevens don't throw down the books on the shelf these are the things that are generally done by the wind whenever the wind comes all strong so here the the speaker of the poem is asking the wind or you can say a kind of a, just a requesting the wind to not come so hard or not to come not to blow so hard as it blows or it generally comes why because when it blows hard it breaks the shutters means breaks the glass of the window just uh, throw the throws the it throws the paper here and there and scatters the book and all these things like the window pane like the papers like the books they stand for the weak things they stand for 
those things that are not strong enough and that's why the wind easily plays with them and easily causes a lot of damage to them see the next slide and see one more very important thing uh, i would like to just uh, uh, tell you before heading heading further see the second line of the poem third line of the poem fourth line of the poem begins with don't 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 so there is a repetition of this this word time and again so if we find such kind of a repetition right at the beginning it is called anaphora a n a p h o r a so anaphora is used in the first line you see this what apostrophe is used in the second third fourth line second third fourth line are very good example of anaphora since the wind is personified treated as the human being treated as the some powerful just uh, being it is personification so three figure of three figures of a speech till now we have found in the poem let's see the next line there look what you did you threw them all down you tore the pages of the book you bought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at the weakling so here is asking the wind to take a stock of the situation he says please look at look at look at your doing what have you done see how have you torn the pages how have you scattered my books how have you just broke my window pane see see the damage you have done this damage you have done to me see and now here he at last says that see you only you only and only play with those that are weak you have caused damage only to those that are not strong enough to face you i told you my dear learners that wind here stands for challenges challenges of the life if we are not strong enough challenges of life break us destroy us but if we are strong we can take the challenges by the horn and overcome us and sorry overcome them and become victorious so we should try our best to strengthen ourselves we should try a level best to be strong to face the challenges of the life and overcome them and emerge victorious see the next line of the poem frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling raptors crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts so see again and again there is a repetition of crumbling words crumbling means just uh, crumbling means not strong crumbling that means that collapsing any time about to fall or tumble down because of because of uh, being weak because because of lacking because of lacking strength and stamina power and vitality so if those are not strong he said do if those are not strong houses are not strong just uh, wood is not strong bodies are not strong then what happens challenges of the human life destroys challenges or challenges of the human life destroy them so in order to face the challenges we should we should try our level best to strengthen ourselves if we are strong we can face the challenges if we are weak challenges will destroy us so he says if houses are weak doors are weak bodies are weak our heart we are we are with our body and heart weak how can we face challenges and problems of life so we should try our best to 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 strengthen our body to strengthen our soul to strengthen our just a strengthen our confidence we should try our best to boost ourselves with the confidence and only then we shall be victorious he says see what the wind god winnows and crushes them all he won't do what you tell him so here he says 
here the speaker of the poem is telling us or here they speak one speaker one person one, the speaker of the poem is asking the other person in the poem not to not to make a request to the wind why because the wind is not going to hear you the wind is not going to do what you say why because why because you are not strong you are you are weak so if you are weak how can a strong man will hear you a strong man will only hear you in case you are also strong and can challenge that strong person so there is always a friendship between two people who are equally strong equally having the potential and power so here he says what is the best way to make wind one's friend to strengthen ourselves to make ourselves strong just like the wind see the what he says so let so sorry so come let's build strong homes let's join the doors firmly practice to form the body make the heart state for do this and the wind will be friend with us so he says so let's let's build our houses as strong fix the door in a very proper in a very proper manner and also practice try our level best to make our heart and head and body strong to face the challenges if we become strong will the wind be able to cause any damage to us will the challenges of the life be able to 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 harm us to damage us no so he said he says do this and the wind will be your the wind will be friends with us the wind blows out weak fires he makes a strong fires roar and flourish he says what does the wind do with the weak fire it extinguishes it it blows it out forever but what happens if the fire is strong the wind makes it stronger and is stronger so is stronger that it has the power to destroy the world in the same manner we should make ourselves strong we should we should just uh, instill in us confidence instill in us courage and if we instill in us positivity courage strength and stamina no challenges of the world can deter us no challenges of the world can touch us harm us but instead we can overcome any challenge of the world and overcome and and turn victorious he says his friendship is good we praise him every day so the friendship of a strong people is always good so if some person some strong person is your friend you will always be in benefit friendship with the weak always is a kind of a business or enterprise of a loss so better be strong better be positive better be better be optimist and if one is optimist strong bold just a powerful one can face all the challenges of the world and can build the solid citadel of of his power and can prove all the world his power and might that's it in this video my dear learners i hope this explanation of mine of this poem will help you understand this poem better but if you find some complications you find some explanations difficult to understand feel free to to write it to me thank you my dear learners once again